Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create an interactive pie chart by using the library we call Plotly. The data is directly coming from an Excel file. The pie chart is fully interactive. You can for example hide or unhide certain categories and the percent share for each category will be automatically calculated. If you're an Excel user and you've never written any line of code, then do not worry, it's not too complicated at all and I will explain each step as I go along. The only requirement is that you have already Python installed on your machine. If not, there are already great tutorials out there to show you how to install Python. With this being said, let us start coding this pie chart. First things first, you want to make sure you have all the required libraries installed. Open up your command prompt by pressing Windows and R, type CMD in here and press enter. The names of the libraries can be found in the requirements text file, which you can also find in the description box down below. On Windows, simply type pip install and then the name of the libraries. So first pip install plotly underscore express and press enter. Your screen might look a little bit different here as I have already installed the libraries on my machine. Next will be Plotly, so pip install Plotly, and the same thing for Pandas and XLRD. Now as we have installed the libraries, let us have a short look on the Excel file I have prepared. Not much is going on in this file, I just inputted some survey results. In column A we have the categories, and next to it we have the amount of people who voted for the respective categories. All right. Now let us see how to transform this data into an interactive pie chart. First I will create a new python file and name it piechart underscore python dot py. And here first I want to import the libraries we just have installed. So import plotly dot express as px and import pandas as pd and import plotly. Next we will read the data from the excel file with the help of the pandas library and store it in a data frame, so df. So this will be df, it's equal to pd dot read underscore excel. And in the brackets, I will type the name of the excel file. In my case, I named it data dot xlsx. Keep in mind, this only works if the excel file is in the same folder as your Python script. If not, you need to specify the exact path to the excel file. As a next step, I will store the values of each column in a separate variable. So the first variable will be the values and this is equal to our data frame and in brackets I will write the name of the column or more precise the name of the header of the respective column. You want to make sure that the name is 100% matching with the one in your excel file, otherwise you will get an error. We will do the same for the next variable, which will be names. And this will be equal to our categories. With those two variables, we can now create the pie chart. So this will be figure it's equal to px.py, then our data frame, and values will be equal to values, and the names will be equal to our names. And for the title, I will call mine survey results. We can now even specify further the pie chart and update the traces. So I will type figure.update underscore traces and for this example I want to display the label inside and we can specify this by the text position. So the text position is equal to inside. I would also like to display the percentage and the number of the votes for each category. So this we can do with the text info. So text info will be equal to percent and label. Last but not least, we can also change the appearance of the pie chart by updating the layout. By the way, this step is completely optional, but for this example, I would like to change the title font size. So we can do this by typing fig.update underscore layout. And as I said, for the title font size, I will make it a little bit bigger. I will choose here 42. The cool thing in Plotly is that we can save the chart in an HTML file. I personally think this is pretty convenient, especially if you want to share the pie chart with others who might not even have Python installed on their machines. 
To export it to HTML, I will type plotly.offline.plot and then and here goes the figure and for the file name, I will call mine pychart.html. Great, now let us save the file and see if it's working. Therefore, open up the command prompt again by pressing Windows and R on your keyboard and type cmd and then press enter. In the command prompt, we want to navigate to the folder of the script. As I have saved it in a folder on the desktop, I need to use the change directory command. So cd and then desktop. Next, cd and then the name of the folder is pychar tutorial. And as I'm now in the folder of the script, I can type python and then the name of the script. So in my case, I call it pychart underscore python dot py and then press enter. All right, this was working and here we have it, our interactive pie chart where we can see the different percentages and hide or unhide certain categories. Additionally, the script also have saved the pie chart in an HTML file. If you want to take it even a step further, you could also execute the Python script with the help of VBA directly from an Excel file by clicking a button. If you're interested in how this works, I have a separate video for this, which you can find in the info card above. Okay guys, I hope you found this tutorial useful and see you next time.